Nokia G65, G Ultimate Review? It is no secret that the Nokia G65, G accompanied me on my recent trip to India, exploring the beautiful temples and mystical places around it. It was actually a lucky gamble, as the Nokia G65 G was barely a couple of days with me before the journey, and I was still trying to understand how the device works for an end user. As the trip was mainly in smaller cities, the device was mostly connected to local 4G network, and I could not test out the recently rolled 5G service. Nevertheless, the device became my primary device for a whole week, through the different locations and weather, and this is what I have to say about it. The lesser of the two siblings is usually one that would lack in many aspects, as per the norm. But the G60 really caught me by surprise. Through my journey with Nokia-branded Android device, which started with the Nokia 8 and to my last purchase of Nokia G21, the inconsistency in the device has made me to always keep my expectation low no matter what the marketing says. With this mindset, I was able to accept many of their shortcomings. And this is where the G65 G sort of jolted me back to the current reality. If you think that this is just another G series like I did, then you are dead wrong. Simply put, other than the G series branding, the new device is a whole new definition of a near excellent mid-ranger. The usual argument such as it lacks the latest processor or it doesn't have an AMOLED display or worse, the camera is poor subjective but the new G-Series is well-equipped to give you the same wow factor like the Nokia 7.2 or even the Nokia 8.1 did back then. Having made of recycled material, the Nokia G65G is designed with sustainable technology in mind that have less impact on the environment. But that doesn't mean it is not well-built or made of cheap materials. In fact, the Nokia G65G feels really fantastic in hand. It has the right weight and built to it, and the compact body gives you a sense of its durability. Even the material used for the camera island is upgraded, and it's no longer as scratch-prone as it was with my G21. The camera island has a matte finish to it and really looks premium this time around. The Gorilla Glass 5 protection on the front means better protection for the display. My usual tendency is to have the device protected with a tempered glass, but since the device arrived earlier than expected, I took it to India in my jeans pocket without one, and as you can see, the display still looks brand new. This is definitely a major step up from my previously owned Nokia G21, which is rather a budget device. The bundled clister clear case adds protection, which should easily survive accidental fall from the pocket. When it comes to durability, the Nokia G65G continues the legacy of previous Nokia devices, and with the promise of three years of updates, it should be very well be useful in the years to come. These days, the telecommunication part of a mobile phone is rarely the subject of the marketing as it has plateaued. In my daily trip to neighboring cities, the Nokia G65 G was as reliable as any phone can be. Connection via Airtel 4 G network was good. The speaker was loud and clear. The voice quality was certainly good and the battery life was excellent. My daily routine of getting up at 6 m with a fully charged battery with some minimal calls in between, the usual intermittent browsing and moderate usage of the camera had me at nearly 50% left at the end of the day, which is around 8 p.m. I am really satisfied as there were no battery drain, and the usage pattern would easily last a day and a half easily for most users. Charging with compatible QC certified charger allows for faster charging thanks to the 20 support. Essentially, HMD Global has a well-optimized device in their hand that feels premium, performs well, and have a good battery life. All this with adaptive refresh rate display at 120 HC.